Hello guys and welcome to yet another Wondershare video. In this video we'll look at how to fix blurry photos in Lightroom. Also we will demonstrate how to repair blurry images using Repairit, the greatest picture editing program available. But before we get into that, please take a moment to like this video and if you are new to the channel then please also subscribe and remember to switch on notifications so that you are notified whenever we release a great new video. But now, without further ado, let's get started. There are numerous reasons why your images may be fuzzy. Camera movement, poor focus and subject movement are just a few of the reasons. But don't worry, we'll show you how to fix this in a few easy steps. Lightroom is a professional editing software that can make your photos more appealing. After doing our homework, we've discovered that there are several ways to restore blurry photos in Lightroom. So let's see how we can bring the dead image back to life using some simple methods. Sharpening your photos using Lightroom can assist in removing blurry details. Sharpening in Lightroom is a simple process that will take you only a few minutes to learn and it can be found under the Develop tab. All you need to do is to scroll down the right panel to find the Details section and here you will find the Sharpening Tools. The Sharpening Tools consist of four sliders that efficiently sharpen your photographs in a short amount of time. If you wish to modify the amount of sharpness on the image use the amount slider. Depending on your preferences, you can either raise or reduce this slider. The radius slider is yet another sharpening tool. It allows the user to regulate the size of the sharpening details. When the radius is increased, it sharpens a considerably larger area of detail than when the radius is reduced. As the name suggests, this slider focuses on the picture's edges and details. When the detail slider is set to a low number, such as 5, it simply sharpens the major edges. A greater value, such as 100, helps you sharpen even the smallest edges. This sharpen tool aids in sharpening adjustments, but goes a step further by providing pixel by pixel sharpening. Masking is used to hide parts that you don't want to sharpen. This feature eliminates the noise caused by the detail and quantity sliders. While it can still be used to sharpen precise sections of your photograph, it will avoid smooth areas, for example, such as skin. The Clarity tool is another way to improve blurry photos in Lightroom. It's a useful option to have and very important for giving your photos that extra pop. The contrast in the midtones are highlighted by the Clarity tool, and using this prevents you from adding grain to the highlights or shadows. Please, however, use cautiously when using the clarity option in Lightroom to restore fuzzy photos, as excessive use can result in unrealistically harsh edges on the photograph when printed. This brush is also useful for repairing blurry photos in Lightroom. If only a few sections of your image are blurry, the correction brush will only assist you to adjust those particular regions. This tool is also in the develop module and functions similar to other Lightroom tools. To use the adjustment brush, you must first change the sliders in the right hand panel. In the develop module, the adjustment brush is located beneath the histogram. You may access it by using the keyboard shortcut K or by clicking on its icon. This shows you your effect options and you can now utilize these sliders to make your own desired adjustments. If you select the adjustment to be affected, you can choose the brush, which features a circle with a plus icon. When you're finished, brush over the regions and then click Done. Lightroom presets are a collection of saved edits that you can utilize to save time on a project workaround. Presets are great because they speed up your productivity and come in useful if you don't know what modifications to make. You also have the option of creating your own presets or downloading additional ones to help you correct blurry photographs. Although presets are pre-installed, there are various actions you can do to use them correctly. To begin, choose the photo that you want to alter. Next, click the preset button and it will open up a list of presets available to you. 
Then select the preset you want to use and the software will apply it to the photo. If you want to try a different preset, you can undo your action and try again. You can also alter the presets by selecting the various aspects on the preset and then making your changes. When you wish to repair blurry photos in Lightroom, the basic and detail panels are particularly useful. The basic panel includes white balance, presence and tones. They individually control different editing elements and allow you to perform all of the necessary adjustments on the photo. This tool is extremely effective and serves as the foundation for all subsequent processing. After you've imported your image, go to the right side panel and look for the basic tab under the develop module. The details panel is especially useful for refining blurry photos. It also aids in noise reduction, especially when combined with other edits. While the basic panel is good for starting your edit on a hazy image, the details panel is ideal for finishing your edit. When using the details panel, use caution however, because too much sharpening can make your photographs appear quite unnatural. On the other side, over noise reduction results in blurry looking photos that aren't much better than the blurry photo you're attempting to fix. One of the greatest ways to fix blurry photographs in Lightroom is to use the radial filter. It is quite versatile and you may use it to efficiently brighten and darken sections of your images. The radial filter can also add sun flares to photos, plus can be used to soften skin tones in photographs. Although this filter affects everything outside of the radial area, the masking tool helps to lessen its effect. The graduated filter is also a simple filter to use. It's a grey rectangle on the right sidebar of the develop module. There are numerous graduated filters available and you can select your favourites by dragging it across your photo. You can move the filter by choosing the centre circle on your image and then dragging it to the desired location. Feathering is also another aspect of the graduated filter. Drag the outside lines to define the filter's feathering. To rotate the filter, all you have to do is to rotate the centre line. Another effective way for repairing blurry photographs is to utilise photo correction software. When it's difficult to correct blurry images in Lightroom, photo repair software can help. Although there are lots of them available, you want a software that provides a comprehensive repair of your photos. Wondershare Repair It is the best tool out there that can help you with this. It is a safe piece of software that is both simple to use and highly effective. It supports a variety of file formats, so you don't have to worry about your file not being supported. So let's have a look at the processes, which are not only effortless, but can also be completed in a matter of minutes. To begin using Wondershare Repair It, you must first add the files you wish to repair. To do so, go to the centre of the page and click on the Add Files. It will lead you to your computer storage location, and then you can select the image that you want to repair with this software. After you have added the photos, you can go ahead and repair them. When you click the repair button at the bottom of the screen, the repair process will begin instantly. You can then view your photo after the photo repair program has repaired it. If your blurred image isn't flawless, you may always perform an expert repair on it as well. Despite the fact that there are many softwares that may help you improve your images, it is ideal to avoid shooting a poor image in the first place. Every photographer's dream is to capture a crisp and sharp image. However, this does not always happen and you must then hunt for techniques to fix blurry images. There are some basic tips, however, that you can use to avoid getting a blurry image. So let's go through them. Shaky hands are one of the causes of blurry photos, so keep your hands as steady as possible. If you wish to do this, keep the camera close to your body with both hands. When you extend your hands, you may experience short-term fatigue, resulting in camera shake. You can also lean against the wall or lay your hands on a firm surface. Using a tripod will also help you avoid camera shake. This prevents you from your hands becoming fatigued or even shaking. Check of course that the trip is securely attached to the surface and additionally, make sure you completely pull out the legs to avoid any unexpected movements. To avoid fuzzy images when photographing a moving subject, increase your shutter speed. 
A faster shutter speed aids in the freezing of moments in your photo. Using a slow shutter speed, on the other hand, results in motion blur. Another trick for avoiding fuzzy photographs when shooting a moving subject is to use a burst mode. When you take many photos, you increase your chances of getting a sharp image. So when you set your camera to burst mode and push the shutter button, it will shoot multiple photographs in just a few seconds. This function is excellent for sports photography. Camera shake and subject movement aren't the sole causes of blurry images. Poor focus is another typical reason for needing to edit a blurry photograph in Lightroom. If you don't concentrate in the appropriate place, your photographs will be fuzzy. So always wait until the camera locks focus onto the subject if you're using the autofocus option. And that brings us to the end of our video. But we hope you have learned how to repair blurry images with Lightroom and Wondershare Repair It. But if you do know of any alternative methods, then please share them in the comment section below. Also, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, then please do so now. And until next time, thank you all for watching and do stay safe.